Morning folks, it's Andy, the Expedition Hiker. And today we're on a river walk. In fact, two rivers. We are just outside Sheffield in a place called Loxley. We are by the edge of Malling Bridge and now we're heading along the River Loxley. We'll head down towards the dam, cut across the landscape and then on the Rivaling River and head back towards Malling Bridge. So it's a circular walk. It's around nine to 10 miles. I haven't really worked out fully. But well, along the way, there's quite a few heritage locations. So it should be a picturesque walk as we travel the path. Now, I'm not really gonna chatter away all the time. It's gonna be a nice, tranquil walk. And hopefully you'll like to follow me along. So with that, let's get walking. So as I mentioned, we are in a place called Loxley. Now Loxley, according to folklore, is where Robin Hood came from, because he was Robin of Loxley. And arise, Sir Robin of Loxley. So he actually came from this area here, and then decided to rob from the rich and give to the poor around the Nottingham area around Sherwood Forest and Nottingham Castle. Anyway, that's enough of that. So today we're walking along the, at the moment, the Loxley Valley Trail. We'll walk along this for about three and a half miles. As I mentioned, there's quite a few heritage locations across here. At Malin Bridge in 1864, it was called the Big Flood. The local dam at Bradfield, it broke its banks and it came all flooding down to here. The whole area got flooded. So the Great Flood of 1864 happened near Dick Van Dyke? No, Van Dyke? Dicky Dyke? Something like that at Bradfield. Well, that broke its banks and the water gushed down. And when it got to Malin Bridge, well, the river was quite narrow there. So all the water headed up through the streets of Malin Bridge and into Loxley. A lot of buildings got washed away, including Malin Bridge Inn. Sometimes it's useful to have a public footpath sign as you're walking along the route, just in case you thought that the route went that way. 
across the river. For those that can walk on water, because there's no other way to go. We're coming to a place called Stores Bridge in a moment, and when we get to there, we're going to head off from the river. We're going to head up the hill, back down the other side, and then we'll join onto Riverline River which I believe has got a lot of heritage points to it. I've just come across this point here. Now, we're a bit, the area I'm walking at the moment is a lot of old industrial buildings covered with asbestos and no longer used, fencing everywhere. But the just saw behind me was this bit of fencing here and it looks like it's been broken into, or an escapee. There's also a lot of wandering water here. And I was just thinking like the name Babbling Brook. And I thought, oh, it's, it's a babbling brook. And then I thought, what does babbling brook mean or what does babbling mean so my question for today is what does the word babbling mean as in babbling brook more heritage buildings and remnants of the past little pipelines and alps and a big industrial building on our left hand side Anyway, I'm walking towards Stores Bridge, coming across up towards a weir. Uh, I can see the weir now. So it is a pleasant walk, and hopefully you're enjoying it as well. We're going to move away from the river in about three or four hundred meters time, and then we'll head over the hill and then pick up the uh, Riverline River, and that'll take us back towards Malin Bridge. Seems to be quite a few rivers around Sheffield. We're coming across more industrial past left to ruins and we continue. Now Sheffield is famous as a city built on industry. The Industrial Revolution in the 1800s, it was renowned for steel, it made Sheffield what it is today. And having all the water and these rivers that pushed into the city, water was used to generate a lot of the industrial buildings and make it a thriving city. And forges all over the place. I mean, there still is some of them still about, but nothing like there was. A lot of that industrial history has disappeared now. So this is Loxley Fisheries. Now, I'm not a fisherman, but I didn't know there were so many rules to be a fisherman. Now, I thought fishing was just got a stick with a bit of string on it, you throw it in the water, sit there for five hours, catch a fish, and then you take a photo of it and throw it back. And they call that a sport. As you can see, the little islands keep moving around. I thought we also was going weird. We're moving away from this fishing lake now. And we're taking this footpath over the bridge and away from the river for the time being. Headed out at the Loxley Valley and beyond the river as we've followed it out this way. We're looking around to the opposite direction as we've climbed the hill. We can now see on the horizon is Bradfield Moors, all the heather along the edge. Now, Bradfield Moors is the edge of the Peak District. So, although we're only uh, five miles away from Sheffield, we're only probably four miles away from the edge of the Peak District. That's one big sheep. I thought it was a horse, a Shetland pony. It's huge. Where did you come from? You had a busy week? 
Saturday afternoon. Are you having a relaxing afternoon? So I know your sister, Gertrude. I met her over the other side of Derbyshire. Anyway, moustache. Gotta walk up a hill now. See you later. I'm guessing it's partly filled in now, but there seems to be a river or stream running through it. folks we are about two thirds away just got the valley behind me once we get down there we're going to take the Rivlin River uh, take that all the way back into Sheffield and towards Malin Bridge where we started this walk So this is the Rivlin River, part of the Rivlin Valley, which will be following its course as we head back to Sheffield. It seems the Riveline River has all sorts, including those that are willing to get cold. And surely, end of September, that's quite cold in there. single paper pulp stone sitting in the middle of nowhere by itself and just across this marshland I'm sure I'm going to pick it up before it flies off the other finch
stacks of mandarin looks. Right guys, we are at the end, well, this part of the Riveline River. Uh, we're just getting close to Malin Gate, which is just up there where we started this walk this morning. Uh, it's been a great walk actually, you're hitting two rivers uh, and even the bit in between was quite interesting as well as we went past Storrs Grange and uh, Brookside. We came up to the Riveline River and I'm glad I did this part this afternoon. Loxley River this morning, it was a bit busy getting over to the Riveline River this afternoon. It's been quite interesting and because there's less people walking around in the evening, I've had it near enough to myself. Uh, I've videoed loads and loads along the way. Obviously you don't know that because I've cut it shorter. It is a bit of a different walk to what I usually do. You haven't heard me rabbiting on all day and I've let you just see what I see. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, let me know and please do by adding the like. Click the like. So with that, take care, look after yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye hikers.